What's up, guys? I know it's been a little bit, but we had to take a little break, if you know what I'm saying. Just had to. Okay. So, today's episode, or video, is going to be a little bit different than the others. It is. It's going to be, instead of asking my Instagram, I actually took it upon myself to create a top 10 list. Today's top 10 list is top 10, top things that annoy me. Okay. Now, for this list, I had to thank my good friend, Cherry Choke 2023 help me come up with this list. I will be honest with you, it took me like 20 minutes to think of one. But she helped me. Okay. Number 10. Teachers. Now, I have three te teachers picked out. We have fucking the fucking whale, Miss Bozzy. We have the fucking, the fucking LA teacher, Mrs. Peters. And then, I don't know, Miss Richter was alright, but I guess really people didn't really like her. So, I'm gonna say the best for last. Let's start with Richter. Mrs. Richter, you were late to first period every day for at least 10 minutes. And I know, I know you. Like, you were just, I knew you were lighting up in the bathroom. You, I know you were. Because you were so mellow in that class, you were. When you're doing your fucking lectures, you just, it's like, yeah, you know, it's just, it's just, that, that bitch is stoned. So there's, there's that lady. <sighs> Okay, Mrs. Peters, I hate you. You were the worst part of eighth grade year. You really were. I'm sorry, but you were. I fucking hate your guts. I really do. You just, you made everyone's life miserable in six hour. Tell us you're going to keep us after the bell. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. Bitch, then why is it called a dismissed bell? Fuck it. Okay. Bossy. 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 You know, you were cool at first. But then I found out what a real bitch you were. Fucking wailing around. Wailing around. Just fucking being a fucking fat ass. And I had you every day. Uh, eighth grade every Friday for fucking what was a powwow Friday or some shit like that, and you're just like, hey, 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 <laughs> fucking hyperventilating when you fucking walk around, wiggle, 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 wiggling around. God, and I guess she broke a chair too. You guys hear about that one? Yeah, fat ass broke a chair. God, I fucking hate that idiot. God, okay. Number nine. This Everyone's gonna get this one. People that make out in the fucking hallway. Okay. Or in the walkway. Doesn't matter. If you do this, you are scum. You are scum of the earth. You really are. Dude, I swear to God. These people are just like that in the hallway. You're fucking gross. Take that in the fucking bathroom. There you go. You can tell your kids about that when you're fucking 19 years old. God. In the fucking hall. Do you know how many times I had to go use a restroom and I had to fucking walk over people that are fucking slurping each other's tongues? Fucking gross people. Okay, number eight. Annoying people. Okay, I'm not trying to call anyone out here, but... If you're in gonna make jokes, don't try to make the whole class laugh. Like, people that try hard with jokes, it's just, it's so, it's so utterly annoying. It really is. Like, if I make a joke, it's because I think it's funny. And I don't care if the other class doesn't think. If I make a joke, I'm gonna laugh my fucking ass off. And if they don't, and if they don't, I don't really care. I really don't. So it's like, you know, just, I don't try hard with my jokes. I really don't. I try not to. And if I do, I fucking do. I know I'm fucking not human. But like these people, these people, they fucking just try to, they don't even laugh sometimes. They just do it because they. God. 
People are just so fucking annoying. They irritate the hell out of me. Okay. Number seven, little kids on TikTok. If you are under the age nine years old and if you have TikTok, your parents failed you. You are a failed abortion. You are. There's no fucking reason for an eight-year-old or a fucking six-year-old, sorry, forgive my French, for a fucking six-year-old to have fucking TikTok. Do you know how many, t like, I gave up being TikTok famous. I really did. Do you know how many fucking little kids follow me? It's an insult to me. It really is. God. Okay. Number six. Okay, here's something me and Cherry, me and Paige came up with. Step, you know, like when you're like around the house, you're wearing your socks, and you have hardwood floor or carpet or whatever, and you step on something wet. Do you know like that uncomfortable feeling? Be like, oh my god. And you know what makes it worse? For me and Paige, we both have dogs. And if you step in something wet, that means one thing. Okay, let's move on. Number number five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number five, little kids in public. I love my niece and my brother and my sister to death. I really do, but I, I dread going in public with them. I do. I really, I hate going in public with them. I get, like, I'm one of those people, I fucking mind my own P's and Q's when I'm in public. I never say anything out loud. So I'm really easily embarrassed in public. So it's like, if I go somewhere with my my siblings or my niece, I know I'm going to be fucking embarrassed. And other people that bring their kids. <sighs> you know, the other day, the other day, I went to fucking Walmart. There was these parents... They had a fucking no baby older than two months old. No, no older than that. It was all this coronavirus shit. There's two of them. One of them could have left, could have stayed at home with the damn kid. Do you know how irresponsible that is to bring a newborn baby in this fucking corona pandemic thing in public? Do you understand how irresponsible that is? God, I was so close to. God, like, I don't have kids, but, like, I know what fucking, <laughs> I know common sense. Who, a fucking baby in a pandemic? God, with little to none immune system? <sighs> God damn. Number four, ban kids. <sighs> ban kids. I really do, like, I just, I despise band kids. There's only a few I can tolerate. There really is only a few I can really tolerate. But no, just, band kids are just so fucking weird. And don't worry, I got, don't worry, you might be thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. You're part of a fucking extra quickler. Oh, don't worry, we'll get to that later. But, you know, it's just, they fucking run around and be like, a big younger no, 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 epic gamer moment. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. Just do. I swear to God, dude. I band kids. You are annoying. You really are. And when I'm just trying to fucking do something, you you guys are fucking playing your fucking Nintendo Switch at lunch. Freaking listening, playing Hamilton at full volume, singing with it. Why you sound like a dying fucking cow. God damn. Sorry guys. Hope you know I'd probably get triggered from this video. Now here's our honorable mentions. They have four honorable mentions. Okay. Number four. Dollar store. Okay. I live really close to dollar store, right? It's like a 10 minute walk from my house. So it's like, oh, I go to dollar store quite frequently. So that it's about seven o'clock at night, two hours away from closing. I walk in. I just, I wanted some fucking, I just wanted some fucking juicy fruit. You know, like if I fucking ate my whole pack, my whole fucking, my whole fucking ten pack, I have to go get a fucking six, a six pack from fucking dollar store. And there's this fucking whale of a woman. Sorry, like. I'm not, I know I'm not like one to fucking fat shame, but like this lady was a fucking whale. Wearing fucking spandex, 
spandex. She fucking, oh my god, man. I swear to god. You know, if you're gonna go into fucking Walmart dollar store, don't buy the whole damn store. So, like, the line is fucking wrapped around the store. It's like, okay, I'll just come back. So, I went to go fucking the other stores and then that plaza thing. Come back. She's still there. Okay, I was like, have the people left the line? I was like, okay, I'm just gonna grab my shit. Maybe she'll be done by the time I get up there. I'm in this line for fucking going on 30 minutes. I was like, dude, I should just walk out. But, like, no, I made a commitment. I need to stay to this. Thank God I was wearing my mask because I was like, you dumb fucking idiot. Oh my God, I hate you so much. God, who buys a whole fucking dollar store? If I didn't have my mask that day, I probably would have fucking, like, wailed myself over a fucking rail. So, at the end of the day, she bought 400 she bought like $300 worth of fucking shit from dollar store. So that's, that's fucking epic. That's an epic gamer moment. Okay. Uh, the 2K games. 2K. What the hell? You post the same, you make the same game from the last game, and you just add the, all the DLC and like four other new characters. And it's literally the same game. With maybe like a fucking dial of better quality. Like, come on. Would it kill you to actually put a fucking, like, put some effort into your work? God. Okay, another one I'll never mention. Theater kids. Die hard theater kids. Now, I'm not a die hard theater kid. I'm not. Like, like, I can barely stand watching musicals. And, like, these people actually want to do this for a fucking career. I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say his name, but... He always made it very clear that he fucking wanted to do it as a career. I was like, how about you get a real fucking job? God, it's very difficult to make it in that world. And what do you think you got? Unless you got some fucking shit that no one has ever seen before. Then I'll see you on fucking the fucking movie theater. Oh, and also those ones that they just give us a fucking bad name. They really do. Okay. Number four, the people that put a pity party for themselves. Okay. I'm going to calm down about this one. Because this one's a very serious one to me. If you are one of those people that just want people's attention, like you just want someone's attention, let's say there's either little to none wrong with you and you just want people's attention. And like, this has happened to me before. Like, like, you know, you're just trying to help someone to be like, and they're not listening to you. That's the worst part. They don't take your advice. They do the fucking opposite. It's just, you know, one person said to me, one person said to me, oh, I probably won't take your advice, but tell me anyway. <laughs> I was like, okay, bye. Like, if you're just, if you're not going to get help, then the only person that you can help or like the only person that can really help you is yourself. You can't, no one can force you to make that first step. They can't. You have to take that step. <sighs> okay. Okay, now we're back to the normal list. Um, number three, Danny DeVito haters. That one speaks for itself. I'll have a separate video, probably like four hours wrong, long. Okay. Uh, number two, extra gum. Extra, extra gum. Um, you are like plastic and tar by like three minute, three minutes in, and your gum is just so sweet, it's unbearable. Now this one, guys. This one. Number one is furries. It's fucking furries. Furries are the reason why we should reopen Auschwitz. <laughs> like, like if your kid is a furry, or you know someone's a furry, they fucking, their kids fail. The parents must feel so disappointed in their kids. Like, they failed at life. They failed at life. Furries are just, God. They're just something else, man. They really are.
God, who just... It's just so weird. Fucking furries. Okay, guys, so that was the video. I have a few more top ten lists in here, so that's probably where we take... We're going to take a break from the questions for a little bit. Uh, by now, the 24-hour questions I have on my story, it's over. We're not doing the roast because there's only like six questions, so it's not really worth like a two-minute video, four-minute, five-minute video. So, yeah. Yep, so... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. So, see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Boom. I dropped my monster condom that I used for my... Ragnum Dom.